Bob has just purchased a four axis horizontal mill and has a large scale production job to run on it. Bob has programmed one part on this tombstone and is wondering if there is a fast and easy way of duplicating this part in multiple locations around this tombstone. He has programmed one part on the front face of this tombstone and is now exploring the Gibbscam tombstone management system option. With just a few clicks, Bob's efforts will be multiplied very quickly around the outside of this tombstone. Simply by clicking TMS multipart takes us to the TMS setup menu where we will set up stock and fixtures first. We'll click the stock body in the body bag and for demonstration purposes we'll press clear. We will set the stock count in X to 1 with a distance step of 0. The Y count is 2 with a distance of 6.35. Well, let's see on the drawing there, it's 6.344. And on B, there are four parts at 90 degrees around B, and we press set. The tombstone is now fully populated with parts and stock. The only thing left to do is to go to the Setup TMS menu, use the same parameter, 6.344, X count of 1, Y count of 2, B count of 4 at 90 degrees each, clear all, regroup, and Gibbscam has automatically grouped the operations by your selection method, either by tool, by tool and coordinate system, or by operations. We'll come back and explore some of the other options inside of TMS. Let's go see how the tombstone looks now with multi-part set on. The part is loaded, the machine is loaded, but we still only see one part on the tombstone. Let's click the TMS multi-part button. This allows us to check the first part and then simply click the multi-part button to see our progress around the outside of this tombstone. This part even has multiple coordinate systems. And as you can see, Gibbscam minimizes the number of rotations required to machine this part. No matter whether this is one part 100 part or 1000 parts, TMS can handle it with ease. Let's take a look at the code output using a Tombstone Management System enabled post processor. As you can see here at the top of the program, each coordinate system has been spelled out so that the operator on the floor knows where they are on the tombstone. The code itself is very clean, and this program has been instructed to use a subroutine for machining the parts. The subroutines were automatically created. Again, the code is neat and clean, optimized and ready to run. Let's go back and look at a few of the optimization buttons on the Tombstone Management screen. First, let's go to Info and let's see what type of info that we can get out of TMS before we even cut the first chip. By clicking this, we get a TMS report that says number of coordinate systems per part, number of parts on the tombstone, and the number of work fixture offsets. Each work fixture offset is listed here along with its coordinate system its work fixture offset in your machine, and its B position, and the number of ops at each location. Other information that is helpful for you and your operator are also spelled out in the TMS report, including the estimated machining time of all of the parts on the tombstone. 
here in TMS, we also have control over multiple retract planes. We have in document control, we have control over the master clearance plane. We also have control over same B, same coordinate system, same B, new coordinate system, and also new B. We do have the ability to control work fixture offsets and subroutines using different options inside of TMS. The TMS option is a high value option with a very low cost and saves you, the programmer, and you, the shop owner, many, many hours of programming time. We want you to keep your spindle turning as much as possible. If you would like to see this option demonstrated on your machine with your parts, please contact Camco.